I see things. What kind of things? Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. There's this room, too, with other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Mm, lead through effect. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pod. To be clear, this is before it's even born. The procedure halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BBs were developed decades ago in secret. They're your quintessential black boxes. We may use them, but we don't truly understand them. Believe me, I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of the old records are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, all right? Dead man's honor. Sam, all check clear. the delivery terminal well, and review the Sam. list of orders. Well, 
you're arresting, I ran some network diagnostics. Corellium monitoring and holographic systems are nominal. Unfortunately, our printer is offline. I know, I know, after all the trouble you went through to bring us those materials. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught that porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. Don't suppose you'd be up for stealing us our property back? Can't think of anyone more qualified than you. Sam. Distro Center staff's got a favor to ask. Probably best I start from the beginning. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught that porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. Don't suppose you'd be up for stealing us our property back? Can't think of anyone more qualified than you. Sam, the area around that distro center has produced a significant quantity of chiral crystals. Matter of fact, that's where the chirelium used in your Cupid's internal circuitry came from. They have a range of applications, including equipment fabrication. Bottom line, they're a valuable resource and one you'll want to make the most of. I'll let Hartman explain in more detail, but chiral crystals don't exactly grow in trees. If you see any deposits, you should go out of your way to gather them. Especially since folks with dooms are the only ones that can. Provided they have the necessary equipment, that is. I'll see that it's added to your supplies for this order. Sam, it's Hartman. Following the discovery of the beach, we not only began to observe heretofore unseen phenomena, but a new type of matter. Chirelium. I say new, but it has doubtlessly existed since the dawn of the universe. We believe it was always there, like dark matter and certain particles. Ever-present, yet overlooked because we lacked the capacity to see it. Chirelium appears to be unbound by the constraints of physics as we understand them. It can stop time or move contrary to it. On occasion, it even defies gravity. In practical terms, it can stop or even reverse time and causes objects to float. A special cylindrical case is required to collect and store it. Suffice it to say, the procurement of samples is vital to our ongoing research. Sam, the air... Heads up, Sam. Distro Center staff's got a favor to ask. Probably best I start from the beginning. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught that porter en route or something. If... Mama's added a watchtower schematic to your PCC. If you don't have it on you, consider fabricating one. You never know when you'll need to recon an area.
thing you're holding is a crystal collector. Now, as the name suggests, it provides secure storage for any crystals you gather. Uh, 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 allow me to describe your quarry. Chiral crystals appear gold to the naked eye and have frequently found in formations resembling human handprints. The surrounding rocks and debris tend to float a few feet above the ground. And they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Hmm? Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. Order assigned. Mike's auto charging unit is busted. If you want to take it for a spin, you'll need to use a generator to give it some juice. Sam, Cairo crystals are pretty small and can be difficult to spot with the naked eye. I'd advise you to use your ultra deck to point you in the right direction. If you want to survey a wider area, though, you might consider building a watchtower and relying on its sensors.
over. There we go. Just so you know, Sam, distro centers and the like are stocked with materials you can use to fabricate equipment. You can also take what you need to build structures. That said, there are limits to what each facility can spare. Check their terminals to see what they are. <laughs>
crystals for us? These crystals only form in places with elevated carillium levels. Which makes me wonder if expanding the network had something to do with it. Oh, just one. Well, that's all right. One is more than we had before. Next time, though, try and bring us a few more, huh? We'd be much obliged. Excess Cairo crystals can be deposited at any facility. They'll be added to the stores held on site. These local stores include materials that you can draw upon to fabricate equipment as needed. Good work, Sam. Seems your connection level is increasing. As your connection level increases, larger quantities of resources will be made available to you at our facilities. Container repair spray for patching up cargo containers. Good for dealing with timefall degradation and all that. Useful stuff if you and your cargo have been through the ringer. We've added it to your supplies list, so it's readily available if and when you need it.
Weapons restrictions lifted. 